All right, we're reporting live from Penn Apps. Uh, we're going to talk to Team Magic Board right now about some really cool stuff. So first off, who are you and what school are you from? Uh, I'm Jason Marman. I'm a senior at Byron Hills High School in Westchester. I'm Rose Barnassi. I go to South Dakota High School in New Jersey. I'm a junior. I'm Greg Carlin. I'm also a senior in Byron Hills. I'm Nico Lazarus, and I go to school at UT. I'm a senior. I get to work with high schoolers for a weekend. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just came back from the, the high school hacker meetup. There were like, what, 50 kids in that room with us? Yeah. It's pretty incredible. It's actually the one year anniversary of the high school hacker meetup getting together at Penn. I'm oh, sorry. It's the one. It's the six month anniversary of the high school hacker meetup getting together at Penn Apps, which is pretty crazy. Um, cool, so why don't you guys tell us a little bit about what you're working on? Uh, so we saw the, well I saw the boosted board a couple months ago and it kind of like blew my mind. So if, for those of you that don't know, the boosted board is an electric longboard that goes up to 20 miles an hour with a little remote. Um, so I was thinking, I also heard about the Mile at that time, which lets you control things with gestures. So I was like, mm, can we combine the two? Uh, and then we kind of just like talked about some other ideas, and then we found Nico, who uh, has some connections to the people that boosted, and they managed to hook us up, which was really awesome of them. That's why we're wearing their tees. Uh, and so we spent the last, I don't know, 24 hours, something like that, putting this together. So uh, essentially what we can do now is use our arm to control the boosted board speed a little. Okay. So let me get this straight. First of all, you guys are basically a sponsored team. It's like kind of the gist, right? Like no, 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 no. <laughs> Who knows where your loyalties we're, are? We're just showing our boosted pride. Showing your, yes. your boosted yeah. pride. That's awesome. Uh, props to Boosted for, for hooking you guys up with the board and, and the shirts. Um, okay, so let me get this straight. So you've got a Mayo armband on your arm right now. Yes. Uh, there's a, a remote control that goes to the boosted board, and normally you can use that remote to control the speed and like uh, the direction of the board is going. Yeah. Okay. And so now you've got that hooked up to what? What kind of gear do you have here? We have a Tesla. Can, can you elaborate? What's a Tesla? Uh, it's a microcontroller. It's, it's like an Arduino. You are good in JavaScript. Yeah. So so what we did was we took the remote that you can really control with your fingers, uh, and we took it apart. And the way it works inside is a little weird that uh, they control the current with a magnet. So what we had to do was glue their magnet onto a servo that we can control with our Arduino or our Tesla. Uh, and so that the, the armband talks to the iPhone, which translates those signals uh, into something that the Arduino can understand. So the Arduino talks to the servo, which moves the magnet, which moves the board. Oh god, there's so many moving parts. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the Tesla first. Like, what was your experience like building on Tesla? Like, what do you, what advice do you have for other people who are using it? Um, so Tesla is really awesome. Uh, like, I have written Arduino before, and Arduino is like I don't know. For people that write a lot of web applications, you get used to like dynamic typing and things like that. Uh, so writing on Tesla was really cool, and we built really fast. We ran into some issues uh, as like a product of not having worked with Boost that extensively, but the guys at Toledo really helped us out, like finishing up with Tesla. But overall, it's like a really cool experience, and it's all like. It's built to be put together really fast, so it's awesome for iPhones. Nice, that's fantastic. Uh, okay, now you have an iPhone app that, that actually has what kind of data displayed on it? Like, how does the iPhone app work? Right, well, right now it's just the acceleration, um, or yeah, it's just the pitch of the of the uh, Maya, but later we'll probably have more data that we can throw in there. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so, do you have plans to like mount this this rig onto the board somehow? Like, how are you guys going to handle that? Yeah, we're actually catting out a case for it and then 3D printing it and then putting everything in and then going to mount it on the board. That's awesome. Yeah. This is an incredible hack, guys. So, now, I'm, I've seen some of your faces at other hackathons. Like, what other events have you guys been to? Uh, personally, the last hackathon I went to was, wasn't really a, that much of a hackathon. It was called Hack Dining. Uh, before that, it was TechCrunch New York, and then before that, my first one was Hack BCA in the April. Uh, I went to M Hacks last weekend and Code Day before that, and then Hack OU. I went to um, Hack BCA last spring. This is my second hack. I uh, went to Last Pin Apps. I went to Hack Texas. I've been to Angel Hacks, uh, E16Z's Battle of the Hacks. So. <laughs> Yeah, we got a hackathon veteran over here. So one day you're going to be like me. Uh, 